James Webb Telescope discovers alien planets in the distant universe. Human beings have always been curious if we are alone in this universe. And up till now, we never really have had an answer. Courtesy of the latest snapshot images provided by the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, we are now in a position to answer that question. So, what has JWST discovered? Stay tuned to find out. But before we go any further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So before we talk about what JWST has discovered, let's talk about how we analyze if there are alien planets in the distant universe. Scientists use JWST to look at the atmosphere of the planets, and based on the findings they receive, they try to make a determination if that planet can sustain life. An astrophysicist working at George Mason University, Hakim Olusei, argues that after collating data from all natural sciences including physics, chemistry, geology, and physics, we think that common sense would say that we are not alone in this universe. JWST has discovered exoplanets, which are planets out there in the universe which are orbiting stars other than our Sun. As of March 1st, we have discovered more than 5,000 exoplanets, stretching across 3,931 planetary systems. The most common method used for detecting an exoplanet is transiting exoplanet detection, in which scientists patiently wait for the planet to pass in front of the stars. If they observe a dimming of light when observed from that star, then they call it an exoplanet. As the planet passes in front of the star, astrophysicists also make the determination if the planet houses an atmosphere. Having an atmosphere is really important, because no environment equals no life. The next question is, how do the scientists know what kind of atmosphere do these exoplanets have? Scientists are able to get information from the starlight filtered from the atmosphere of the planet, and that light has all the requisite information, including what chemicals are present in the atmosphere, if there is indeed one. The presence of the atmosphere is usually detected by the presence of carbon dioxide. In our own solar system, Mars and Venus have carbon dioxide dominated atmospheres. Scientists are also looking for water-based features in the atmosphere. Methane-dominant atmospheres also exist, which make up the atmosphere of Titan, which is one of the moons of Saturn. But even if a planet has an atmosphere, it simply does not mean that the planet will have conditions conducive for life. To determine the conditions of that planet, scientists have to analyze the contents of the atmosphere to see if there are any chemicals which have been created by living cells. In this context, there is no single chemical out there, which indicates that this planet has the right conditions for supporting life. Scientists would need to look for multiple molecules. Scientists have got it wrong before. In the case of Venus, they found phosphine, which could only have been produced by living things. But after decades of research, they found out that phosphine could be produced in artificial conditions as well. There is also the possibility that we completely miss the signs. For example, life can exist in conditions which we do not know of. Scientists recognize that there could be other forms of life which scientists have not thought of and which could thrive in conditions that are terrible for sustaining human life. JWST offers so much data in this regard as it opens up new avenues of molecular detection and detects what chemical inventory we are looking at. All of this suggests that JWST is the right kind of tool that we need to have to determine if there is indeed extraterrestrial life out there in the universe. Now, let's talk about what we have discovered so far. We have detected a Saturn-like planet, which is located some 700 light-years away from the Sun. Courtesy of the JWST, we know of the composition of its atmospheres too. The exoplanet, which is referred to as WASP-39b, orbits a star in the constellation of Virgo. The reason why this planet made such a splash was that JWST was able to detect carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. After that initial finding, there was a bunch of detailed analyses conducted on WASP-39b, which shed light on all of its minute details. The detection systems used by JWST included the main NIRCAM camera and the two spectroscopes, NIRIS and NIRSPEC, which can split light from the observed light spectra. Findings have revealed that WASP-39b is covered in thick sulfur clouds. These chemicals, upon reacting with light, produce sulfur dioxide in very much the same way as ozone is produced in the Earth's atmosphere. WASP-39b is designated as a gas giant, which is about one-third the size of Jupiter's size, and its orbital path is 4.3 million miles away from its parent star. This means that WASP-39b is extremely close to its star, 
which makes it a very good candidate for studying photochemical reactions. Based on studies, scientists estimate that wasp 39 b was formed only after the collisions of several small planetesimals and at a greater distance from its star than it is today. wasp 39 b was also an excellent opportunity because it allowed scientists to test other methods which could help detect life on other exoplanets. The atmospheric analysis conducted on wasp 39 b could be replicated on other planets and the results could be compared to other planets. One of the things which scientists are looking for is the ratio of oxygen, which, if it's greater than the other models, would indicate a sign of life. The amount of data we have collected thus far about wasp 39 b suggests that it is not a very good candidate for sustaining life. One reason which rules out this possibility is the extreme temperature of the planet. Due to the smaller planets to its parent star, the temperatures can get as high as 900 degrees Celsius. The other planet, which JWST has discovered, which has increased the hopes of scientists, is a rocky planet which is orbiting a distant star. The interesting thing about this rocky exoplanet is that it is the same size as that of Earth. Another very fascinating observation is that this planet is located only 41 light years away. JWST has the potential to categorize different planets and using its powerful diagnostic tools, make a determination about its suitability to sustain life. This planet, now called LHS-475b, was first discovered by NASA's TESS spacecraft, but has later been confirmed by JWST. LHS-475b orbits its parent star, which is much cooler and smaller than our Sun, in two days. Initial data indicates that the surface temperature of LHS-475b is hundreds of degrees warmer than our Earth. Now, at this point, things may start to look discouraging but since the parent star is a much cooler and smaller version of our Sun, it is possible that this rocky exoplanet can have an environment. Now this is where things get interesting. Scientists cannot make the determination about LHS-475b having an atmosphere or not readily. In fact, the instruments on board the JWST are extremely sensitive, and this helps in rapid detection of a range of molecules, but it does not provide for a quick assessment of whether there is an atmosphere or not. However, scientists have been able to make some preliminary evaluations. The first thing that they were able to rule out is the presence of a methane-rich atmosphere on the LHS-475b. This is the same kind of environment which was found in Saturn's moon Titan. However, it is probable that the exoplanet has a carbon dioxide-rich environment. There should be more information coming about this exoplanet this year. As mentioned earlier, JWST is able to piece together a lot of information as the planet moves past its parent star. The amount of light dimmed from the star provides a lot of information, which then indicates if the planet in question has an atmosphere or not. This brings this video to its conclusion. Please hit the like button if you found something of value in this video. Thanks for watching this video till the end, and see you in the next one. Cheers!